uh, you know, we were right at it in the first half, and uh, you know, we didn't we didn't answer the bell in the second half. We got uh, you know we got uh, out coached, we got outplayed, whatever route you want to use. Uh, we just didn't do well enough in the second half. South Dakota State's a really good team, very explosive offensively, and um, you know you have to credit them. They played extremely well, and uh, the bottom line is we we uh, we got to bounce back. You know so we got to bounce back. We got to believe in my guys. We got a good football team, and uh, we had a little bump in the road here against two very good teams. We got to get back on our feet, go back to work tomorrow, and uh, get ready to go to normal and play a really good Illinois State team. This was something that we, we talked about. You knew they could they could score and they yep. could score in a hurry, and you said it might yep. be just trying to keep them off the field. What was their defense able to do to keep you guys third and long and, and keep you three and out, three and out? Yeah, I don't know so much their defense. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean they, they they controlled the ball. I mean, I don't know what their time possession was thirty six minutes, and uh, we weren't able to get on the field much, and certainly we were some third downs, but you know, it seemed like we were after in the second half, particularly playing kind of playing catch up across the board, you know, and just couldn't quite keep up at the end of the day. You know, we were behind the sticks offensively and they were moving the ball and making a lot of plays and the game just, just got out of hand on us. Uh, Strebler, Stick, uh, Christian, what is it about quarterbacks who can make plays with their legs that just really kind of seems to frustrate you guys? Because those guys just seem, they need five, they seem like they're able to get Yeah, them. they just, man, they made a lot of plays. You know, there's a lot of experienced guys there, but at the end of the day, they just, they just made the plays. I mean, sometimes, you, you know, you can't. You draw up a scheme and you, you got him defensed and uh, and uh, he scrambles out and either finds him down the field or he runs for a first down. Uh, and you have to give him a lot of credit as the returning player of the year in the conference. So. Um, you know, he runs their system well, and it's just uh, one of those days. We just weren't able to get, get a handle on them. How frustrating is it, those third downs? Because it seemed like they just were – I mean, it wasn't like they had third and short and you guys right. were third and long, but it just seemed like every time they needed to get to stay on the field or even when you had them backed up, yep. they just made that one end yeah. of the play to keep the stay on the field. Yeah, one of the real keys for us we, we knew going in was would be our ability to get them off the field on third down and for us to sustain third down. And, uh, you know, I'm looking right here, they're 7 11, we're 2 of 8. And we just weren't able to, to do it, you know, to stay on the field to make enough plays. And, and uh, you know, they came in as the top third uh, down conversion team in the league, second in the country. And uh, obviously they went 7 11. They were able to keep themselves on the field. We weren't quite able to stay out there enough. And in turn, that leads to time of possession, which they had 36, 44, almost 37 minutes. And, uh, you know, we kind of got the script turned on us today. You know, we've been a really good time of possession team. And uh, today we, we, we couldn't control the football, and they did. And uh, when you got it 23 minutes and you run 44 plays, pretty tough. Did you have a sense early in the game that it, that it could go this way or leading into the game that it might go this way? Oh, no, no. I mean, you know, we're, we're – 24-17 at the half, and I uh, felt like we could make some corrections. Uh, we come back, get a handle on them. We, we've been playing good defensive football. It just uh, you had a big pick early in the game, you know, that created a lot of momentum. But uh, you know, the second half, it just it just seemed like it got away a little bit, like last year in Brookings in the second quarter. You know, the third quarter this year for us. Last year was the second quarter where we just could not. Could not stem the tide. You know, we just couldn't do it. At the end of the day, you know, they outscored us, I think, 21 to 7 in the third quarter. And uh, they had a seven point lead uh, going into it. And, uh, you know, just we never really recovered, to be honest with you. Uh, North Dakota State, South Dakota State, Illinois State, you said you knew this was going to be yep. a real meat grinder of, yep. of your schedule. Where do you guys go from here knowing that? I mean, these Nazi games, they, they're even more important for you guys. Well, everyone's big. We we got to just uh, – we got to rebound, you know. We, as I told the team, we need each other. You know, we need to uh, we need to learn from this loss. Uh, we need to take accountability and ownership for loss, all of us, not just our players, our coaches and me, all of us. And we didn't, we didn't do a good enough job today. And uh, that starts with me. I'll never – I always look at myself first. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, we, we didn't get the job done today. And, uh, you know, again, I'll credit South Dakota State did an outstanding job. Uh, but, it, you know, we have to step back from this. We have to look in the mirror. We have to regroup. We have to stay together. And, uh, you know, we got a three-game stretch here. And we knew, you know, everybody in this league knows that you're, every team hits stretches of tough games. And, uh, you know, I believe the teams that can handle the big wins and the tough losses the best in this league are the ones that move forward, you know, and this is a tough loss. I mean, it's not just a loss. We, you know, we got soundly beat today, so we've got to recover 
Uh, we got to put it behind us, but we got to learn from it too, and uh, and and then go to normal and uh, you know get back on our feet and play. You know, nobody's <laughs> there's no days off. You know, you got to go right back to work, and you got to find a way to get ready to play next week against another really good team.